Hey YouTube, today we are going to make a cardboard box into an oven. And a lot of people are thinking, an oven? Oh yes, an oven. And to do that, I'm going to go through the materials needed. I will list them down below. You'll need a roller, an X-Acto knife, a pencil, some glass cleaner. I actually got two picture frames from the dollar store, eight by 10. I got a package of two pans from the dollar store, inch tall. What's the numbers on here say? It just says two foil oblong cake pans but they're not the real tall ones. I got a little baking rack, cooling rack, also from the dollar store. Four packages of the long aluminum foil from the dollar store. I got foil tape from Lowe's. A cutting mat and a cardboard box. My son is going to come in and help us. Oh. It's my son James, my oldest son. He's going to help us and learn because he's an outdoorsy guy. This will give him another way to cook for his buddies on paintball trips. All right, so to begin, we're going to take, we flattened our box so it's easier to cut. We're going to slide our cutting mat under there. this stuff that to the end. I took one sheet of glass out already. I'm going to take the other sheet of glass out. I have no use for that. I have no use for that. I just want the glass. So I took the glass and I found the middle of the long side of the box and I traced it with a pencil, which I've already done. And then I removed the glass and I took my roller and I measured an inch in and I made my inside of the glass hole. And now I'm going to have my son Jimmy with the X-Acto knife use the metal ruler to cut out the inner box. And while he's doing that, we're going to clean the glass, the two sheets of glass. We're going to edge them, put them together, and we're going to use our aluminum tape around the edges of it, which I'm going to do on that side. And I'm going to clean my glass, the two insides, before I put them together. Okay, so my son got the whole cut out. This is where we're going to put our glass so we can watch our stuff bake. Especially if you do with this with kids, they just love that. You can also, if you don't want to use glass, you can use, what is that? The bags that you put in a slow cooker, the clear plastic bags or the bags you bake in like you bake a turkey in in the oven, you can use those also. And that's what we would use when we use, did this at camp with kids.
we need to finish getting our box ready. We need a way to be able to get in and out of this like you would a real oven. We're going to do that now. We're going to have my boy here. You're going to cut. Uh -huh. We need to measure. You're going to probably go about, <coughs> let's go three inches. So we'll mark the three inch mark. around this and then square it up so we can open have a door that opens on our oven i'll bring you around so you can see how he draws that okay so Here's my original line of the outside of the glass, and I measured in an inch all the way around to make that hole for the window. And now he is making marks, three inches. You can do less yeah, down here. Yeah, I was going to do one inch down here. Yeah. He's going to do one inch from the bottom and one inch from the top. Well, two inches because this goes one inch and then he's going out another inch. So that'll be two inches below the opening for the glass. You'll make all your cuts in your box before we start covering our box. Okay, so what I'm gonna have my son do is now cut this bigger square, cut it completely out. This is gonna be our door. While he was doing that, my husband and I, several years ago, bought new dressers. And I did not like the pulls for it. It was just too modern for the look in our bedroom. So I bought all new pulls, but I have a bag full from the dresser we bought, the dressers we bought. So I'm going to use one of those as my little handle. I'll probably actually use two as my little handles to get in and out of our little oven. All right, he got our door trimmed out. Awesome sauce. All right. So with our window covered, we know this fits in here because these lines line up. We are now going to tape in using our aluminum tape. I'm using two panes of glass because it'll help hold the heat a little better. <coughs> Never really noticed before, but aluminum tape smells. Kind of funky. Hmm. It does have a very weird scent to it. 
think I'd lie to you. I don't know. He could be going crazy. I'm old. Who knows? Okay, so now we have it taped on both sides. And for some reason, it keeps moving down. Okay. All right, so now we're going to begin the process of putting our box back together and start covering the whole thing in foil and sealing all the edges of the foil with foil tape. So Just like any box, both on both sides. It's aluminum tape. Help me hold the square, James. You don't want to use basic plastic tape or any other kind of tape because they just can't handle the heat like the aluminum tape can. So we've got the bottom sealed. We're going to seal the top. on box. Okay. See my box? I know that's my bottom. Now I'm going to have Jimmy get into this back corner here and cut out like a one inch by one inch square. That's our vent. We need a vent. Or you can put it in the back so if you're cooking when it's raining water won't get in it so just cut it in the back you can cut it in the corner in the middle wherever you want just a one inch by one inch box just cut out of the back and you can see it in my hand all right so now we're going to begin to cover the box inside and then outside with this aluminum foil and you do that in pieces piecemeal. I guess we could have done it before we sealed up one complete end. I'm kind of special sometimes. Y'all will learn. So now I'm going to give him some pieces of aluminum tape to kind of secure that in its sections. Foil to do three layers at once on one side. And that'll kind of save a little bit of time. Put it together. Do a nice straight edge. So you can slide it down one side and Sometimes if you fold it in half like this, it helps.
So, so far, as you can see, we have done three of the sides. We will do the side with the door a little later. It'll be the last we do with the door. All right, so now we can close this top back up. Now you only want airflow where you want airflow from. And that's the little hole we cut in the back. So now that we're dealing with the outside, we are going to seal these edges. I'm going to give you, try to give you a bigger piece to seal that side over there too. And you do want to go over and down so you don't have any holes in the corners. is tape to get glued together. That one corner. See? We did cover the whole one on that. Okay. So now all your edges are covered. Front and back. Now we're going to... Okay, so we just realized after making the entire box that the video shut off for whatever reason and you didn't see us covering the outside, building the door, which is just covered with aluminum tape. I had some old knobs saved from some dressers I bought that I didn't like the knobs. I took some rope, taped it kind of to the top where I can loop over these to help hold the door closed. I have a small aluminum pan in the bottom for my hot briquettes, charcoal briquettes. Four cans. I have four cans. Paper, well, these ones still have stuff in them, but I need the paper off the outside. The insides cannot be lined, okay? They have to just be metal. Put a baking rack on top, whatever you're going to bake in one of these on here. Close up your oven. My screws are extra long for my knobs, which is fine because it's just for outdoor cooking. Which lets me kind of mess that around a little bit. Pop it in. You can cook anything in this just like you would in an oven in your kitchen. 
using charcoal briquettes. Each briquette is 35 degrees. So if you need to bake, let's say brownies, 350 degrees, 35, 40 minutes. So 350 degrees, 35 degrees per briquette times 10 will get you the 350 degrees. Always add two or three extra just in case. Don't keep opening your box. You can smell it when they're pretty much done. It smells so yummy. Um, but it's just like baking in your regular oven at home. I hope you enjoy. I'm sorry you didn't get to see us cover the outside of this with aluminum tape. We just use the aluminum tape down here on the inside and the outside, two layers each side for our hinge. But if you like this video, hit the like button. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you like the channel and want to see what other crazy things I make, hit subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.